What's up internet? Skins Elliot here, and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of a new tripod head. Hit those credits. <laughs> and here it is. Now just look at the box. We can see right here on the front we've just got the logo of the Fotar. On the sides we have the website and the different social media channels you can find them on. And on the top we have all of the schematics. Now we can see it's a panoramic ball head with a quick release system. The base dimensions of the actual head itself, it's only four centimeters. We have the height of the tripod, which is 8.9 centimeters. Then we have the tripod mount itself, which is a three apes or a one quarter inch. It actually has a converter inside. Followed by the max load of the actual head. And this can actually support up to eight kilograms. The weight, is 0.38 kilograms and the fact that it has a quick release plate. Underneath we just have the ID number, a barcode and then once again the Fotar logo and website. Inside the box we just have the head itself and some dry sauce. Don't eat these guys, they're not healthy. Nice and simple, simple packaging, nice and clean, nothing to really worry about. Let's open up the bag and get the actual tripod head out itself. Here we have the ball head itself. As we said, it's only a four centimeters for around the dimensions and a little under 10 centimeters along the top to the bottom. We have a dial on the sides to open it up, allowing you to use the ball head. And then once you tighten it up, you have this extra tightener just to make sure that is locked in place and that's not going anywhere. Around the back, you have a small tension nozzle which allows you to actually rotate when it's on a tripod to give you that panoramic view. It actually feels like a really stiff metal construction. I actually really like this tripod head. It's nice, it's solid, it's compact, and it does exactly what it needs to. Now, you have a couple of spirit levels on the side and on the top. And there's a simple tension device just to untighten and then it will slide out. Now you can see these screws in the bottom of the plate. Now these actually go into these grooves to make sure that your actual tripod, when it's inside, if you don't tighten it properly, it won't actually slide out. That's the furthest it will go. Now you have these rubberized feet, which keep your camera nice and stable. And on the bottom, you have an actual handle for keeping, for tightening, but you also have a slice that you can use for a screwdriver or possibly a coin. Now this actually feels really stable. It's actually really good quality. You've got different mounting points on the plate itself. So depending on which camera you have, you can actually adjust it to suit your needs. Now, depending on what tripod you have, you're gonna actually have two different connection types. One is the quarter inch, the other one is the three eighths inch. Take it out, you just unscrew. Now with it as it is, we can just attach it to the tripod. Now, where did I put that tripod? Hang on. There it is. This is the PT288, I actually reviewed this last week. Um, if you wanna check out that review, just click one of the eyes in the top of the screen. Now to screw it into the tripod, it's super simple. You just screw it in, so let's give it a go. And there we go. Okay, that's nicely on. This isn't gonna go anywhere. What you can do though, is when you're all set up, you can release the small nozzle at the back to get those nice smooth panning shots. You can actually see the numbers on the side rotate to make sure that you get a nice smooth transition. Now thank you so much for watching this unboxing and quick review. As I'm pairing this small head with my travel tripod, it should be super useful to actually have such a small form factor and a lightweight with such a sturdy head. Thank you so much for watching the review. If you want to check out any of the products I've shown in here, there's going to be links in the description below. All of the links are going to be affiliated links, so if you use them when purchasing, it really helps out my channel. Any questions at all, leave them in the comment box below, I always read them. Massive thanks to Fotar for sending me this product for review. If you like my content and you want to see more, feel free to like, share and subscribe. You can check out my website or my Instagram. And thank you so much for watching. Catch you around.